Assalamualaikum and hi everyone and welcome back to Teacher Kamalia's English class. Okay, for today, uh, we'll be going to, we are going to do Reading Comprehension Part 3, Information Transfer. Okay, so uh, what is information transfer? Okay, the first one, this uh, session appears in part 3 of the reading paper, question 1724. Number 2, a linear text is given and students must read the text carefully. Okay, you will have to read the text more than once. Okay, number 3, then students must complete the graphic organizer or table provided. Okay, fill in each blank with no more than three words okay fill in each blank with no more than three words okay you can uh, write down answer of one word two words or three words but that's it not more than four uh, sorry not more than three if you write down four words no marks will be given even though your answer is correct Okay, so please, please, please make sure that your answer is not more than three words. Okay, number four, this section is worth eight marks. So one uh, answer, one correct answer for one mark. Okay, next. Okay, next uh, example questions. Okay, let's see the example questions and how to answer it, how to tackle the questions. Okay, let's go. Okay, example, okay, this is uh, what we call linear text, okay, you have to read the text first before you answer the question or you fill in the graphic organizer or table provided, okay. So, let's uh, read together, okay. Faiz Subri won in January 2017, Muhammad Faiz Subri, a Malaysian footballer, had created history as he was named the winner of the Puskas Award for the best goal of 2016 in Zurich. This made him the first Asian to ever win the international prize and a hero to everyone in the country. Muhammad Faiz Subri came to the world on 8 November 1987 in Kedah. He's the third of five brothers and sisters. He received his primary education at Sekolah Kebangsaan Tengkulak Semana. He was studying his secondary education at Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Permatang Bonglai before moving to SM Teknik Arau in Berlis. He started playing for the Kedah Youth squad from 2006 to 2009 and had moved several clubs after that. Now, he plays as an attacking midfielder for Penang FA, a Malaysian Super League club. It is the match against Pahang FA at the City Stadium in Georgetown on February 2016. Pahang scored an incredible free kick that helped the home team defeat Pahang 4-1. Faiz's fantastic goal last year went famous and received 59.46% online votes at the best FIFA Football Awards 2016 where he finished away ahead of the other two finalists. Faiz was very happy to have won the award. He even tweeted some selfies with famous footballers like Cristiano Ronaldo and Manuel Neuer as well as the former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson. Okay, so that's it uh, for the text. Now let's uh, see the graphic organizer or the table provided. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the table that you need to fill in. Okay, let's read the instruction first. Okay, complete the following table. Okay, this table. Choose no more than three words and eh? Or a number. Okay, so you cannot write two, three, four, five numbers for one answer. Okay, from the text for each answer. For each equation, write your answer in the space provided on your answer sheet. Okay, you will get answer sheet and you have to fill your answer inside that. Okay, let's look at the questions. Okay, you have eight questions. So, first one is Name of awards received, number two, date of birth, three, place of birth, five, uh, four, sorry, school, he finished his secondary education, final year playing for Kedah Youth Squad, position in his team, year he made his famous school, and last one, points of votes on 
line. All the answers are given in the text, previous text. Okay, you just have to read and recognize the keywords. Okay, you have to find the hint and you will get the answer from the text. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, the first one, okay, uh, read the question. Name of award received. Okay, name of award. Okay, so the keyword will be award. Okay, you have to find award. Where is the word of award? Okay, a Malaysian football head creator history has he was named the winner of the uh, Puskas Award. Okay, this will be the answer. Puskas Award. Okay. Did you get it? Okay, this is the easy one. Okay, let's look at number two. Okay, next, 18, 19, 20. Okay, the first one, date of birth. Okay, date. What is date? Date is tare. Okay, it must be September, October, November, January, February. Okay, so find that one. Okay, uh, Mark Fensbury came to the world on 8 November 1987. Okay, so this will be the one. Next, Place of birth, place. Place is tempat. Tempat is hospital. Uh, where should, where normally one go on. Okay, kat mana biasanya orang dia lahirkan, okay. This one, it is in Kedah. Okay, this is the answer. School he finishes secondary, okay, secondary. Uh, this is a straight uh, question and answer, okay, secondary education. He finish, okay, remember, finish. So, this will be this one. Sekolah Menengah Teknik Arab. Okay, don't get confused with Sekolah Menengah Kepada Sampai Wakil He started that one but he finished at SM Teknik Arab in Perlis. Okay, next. Uh, final year. Final year playing for Kedah Youth Squad position in his team. Year he made his famous goal and points of votes online. Okay, let's look at number 21 first. Final year playing for youth, uh, Kedah Youth Squad. Okay, let's find. The keyword will be Kedah Youth Squad. Okay, the keyword is Kedah, Kedah Youth Squad. Sorry. So, where is Kedah Youth Squad? Okay, here. Kedah Youth Squad. Let's look at the answer, uh, the question again. Final year. Okay, so, final year will be this one. 2009. Uh, 2006 when he start. Okay. Position in his team. Okay, his team now. What is it? He plays uh, now, sekarang. He plays as an attacking midfielder. Okay, this is the answer. Even though I don't know what this attacking midfielder is, but it is the answer. Okay. Next. Year he made his famous. Okay, year. Year. Year is what? Tahun. Tahun will be four numbers. 1987, 2010, 2021. Okay, so where is it? Okay, let's look at it. Uh, it is a match against Ninja. Ah, February 2016. So, this is the answer for 23. Okay, 24 points of votes online. Okay, how many votes did he receive? Okay, let's see. Votes online. Votes online. This one. Online votes. Okay, how many? This one. 59.46%. Okay, so that's the answer. It's pretty easy. It's really easy actually. You just have to read and you have to uh, recognize the keywords in order to find the answer in the text. Okay, please uh, take your time to read the text and then read the questions and then read the text again okay you will have to read the text a few times okay it's okay it's, the text will not be too long it won't take so much of your time to answer the questions okay remember read the text first read the questions again or the um, graphic organizer or the table provider and then read the text again okay in the meantime, you will have to find all the keywords that you really that you already underline when you read the questions. Okay, so it's really easy, right? Okay, let's move to the next one. All right, as usual, get practice. Okay, let's see if you really understand it.
Okay, practice. Okay, this is um, Peter Triclone 2017. Good morning, boys and girls. The wildlife challenge is back. This is your chance to show how you can help to preserve wildlife and nature. The wildlife challenge is based on two categories. Category A is for primary school students, whereas category B is for the secondary school students. Students are required to send in a video clip in order to participate. For category A, the length of the video clip should be 7 minutes. Students need to suggest ways to preserve wildlife and nature. Secondary students must submit a 10-minute video clip. They need to explain why preserving wildlife is important and suggest ways to implement recycling in schools. Okay, this contest is open to students from government schools only. Please take note that students from private and international students are not allowed to participate. All video clips should be uploaded to our website by 23rd June. For further information, visit our website at www.wildlifechallenge.com. Good luck. Okay, so that is the text. Okay, now let's see the questions. Alright, this is the question. Okay, question 1 to 8. Complete the following table. Okay, you have the table here. Choose no more than 3 words. Okay, remember, no more than 3 words and or a number from the text for each answer. Okay, you have to find all the answers. Okay, let's read the questions together. Okay, the wildlife challenge. This is pretty easy. Okay, the keywords are pretty straight for you. Okay, the purpose of the wildlife challenge. Okay, next categories. Okay, you have two category A and category B. Participants. Okay, who are qualified for category A? Who are qualified for category B? Next, duration of video clip. Okay, for category A, for how many minutes? Category B, for how many minutes? Okay, the content of the video clip. Ah, uh, see, for category A, you have one only. For category B, you will have two, seven, and eight. Okay, you have to find the answer. To preserve wildlife and nature, preserving wildlife is important. Suggest how schools can do what, what, and what. Okay, these are the keywords. Okay, purpose, categories, participants, duration. Okay, duration of video clip, content of video clips. Okay, the keyword will be video clip. Ah, this is easier for you. If you find, if you look for the video clip words, Inside the text, you will find duration, you will find the content, and you can answer the questions here. Okay, let's see the text again. Alright, okay, this is the text, and this is the table. Okay, the text here, and the table here, okay, uh, like he said uh, earlier. The keywords, okay, the first one, purpose. Okay, the purpose. Why? Okay, why you... Why there is a wildlife challenge? Okay, let's look at this. This is your chance to show how you can help to preserve wildlife and nature. The preservation of wildlife and nature. Okay, good. Okay, categories. Okay, we have two. Category A and category B. Okay, so participants. Okay, try to do it on your own. Participants for category A. Which one is for category A and which one is for category B? Let's look here. Category A is for ah, category B is for yes. Remember, not more than three words. Okay, fill in here and here. Okay, next duration of video clip. Okay, let's see the video clip. Where is the video clip? Okay, one here. Students are required to send in a video clip. Okay, is there any duration there? No. Okay, for category A, the length, okay, another video clip. For the category A, the length of the video clip should be 7 minutes, okay. Pretty straight. 7 minutes, category A, here. Okay, next. Students need to suggest ways to preserve wildlife and nature. Secondary student must submit a 10 minute, okay, another video clip. 10 minute video clip, okay, 10 minutes. Right, they need to explain why preserving wildlife is important and suggest ways to implement recycling in school. Okay, content of video clip. Where's the video clip again? Okay, students need to suggest uh, to preserve wildlife and nature. The answer is to suggest ways. Okay, suggest ways. Okay, next, they need to explain why. Okay, good. 
explain why preserving wildlife is important and suggest how school can okay suggest how school can implement recycling okay so you will have two words here okay it's really easy right okay it's easy for you to get eight marks okay very very easy this is uh, the part where you can guarantee your mark if you really read and if you really understand the keywords okay eight marks is really easy to get okay Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, thank you for today. Thank you for today's lesson. Okay, that's all for today. And please, 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 as always, stay at home. Please, we still, the journey is still long. Okay, we need to win over this in order to live as a normal person again. Okay, that's it. See you again next time. Assalamualaikum.